So within this video, I'm gonna give you some context to the different knees that we're gonna be going into in relation to the Dutch kickboxing drills. So for starters, what I did here was circle each range in terms of what they are in relation to the knee. So you would use this knee within mid range, the straight knee strike. Close range is circled with a C and long to mid range is circled with L slash M. So if you go through and look, the, look at those really quick. What we're gonna be focusing on within clench, close range, are all the ones that are circled and marked with the straight line here. These are my hieroglyphics. So we're gonna get started on number two, the curved knee strike. So what exactly is the curved knee strike? This is when you are chest to chest with somebody. It's very difficult to fire anything down the line. You're probably gonna be in a body lock position. And this is where your knee's gonna come up and around like a circle and curve in. Now, typically people will target the side of the legs or the side of the body here. So you'll see people that are chest to chest firing knees coming in in a circular motion. So the curved knee is coming out and then in at an angle. So it's curving in. Number two, the horizontal knee strike. This can be a knee strike or more of a knee block. This is very important because essentially after you get your attacks, what is your opponent looking to do, your partner? They're probably gonna attack you back. So what this does, it allows you to put your knee up as a frame, like a seat belt going right across the hip. We will be demonstrating this in a future video so stay tuned for that. Again, I get a few knees off, I control my partner, boom, I get that knee across, just like a seatbelt position. It's very difficult to do anything from here once you get this knee across their belt line, across their hips. Next up, we have the small knee strike. So with the small knee strike, what's so beautiful about this technique is that it targets the inside of the legs. So the adductors, it's targeting inside. So your cross kneeing here at an angle, kneeing the inside of the legs. In comparison, we have the rabbit knee strike. With the rabbit knee strike, you're essentially just lifting your knees up, not really loading with any power. You're just lifting your knees up, just like this, kneeing your partner. It's very difficult for them to sweep you here or to counter with the knee themselves because they are constantly getting hit. So again, what we're gonna be focusing on is the curved knee strike. If you care to hear about what that means in, in Thai, that is Kao Kong. Kao Kong, kind of a weird name. The horizontal knee strike, Kao Tat. The small knee strike, Kao Noi. The rabbit knee strike, Kao Krate. I might pronounce that completely wrong, so I'm sorry if I do. Um, again, with this being said, these aren't the only knee strikes. This is just the ones that we will be focusing on within close range because we're transitioning from long to mid into close, and this will give you an idea of what's happening in a more scientific approach, what the appropriate names to each are, and how exactly we will be executing these knees. So I hope this gives you some context for what we're about to do, and I hope you enjoy the next video coming up.